a year ago, we hear birds, see lots of fish. Now, you know, we paddle through the mangroves and all of a sudden we hear a dredger start up 20 feet behind us. We've been taking people into the mangroves about a year and a half now and noticed a huge change in the mangroves. Um, there's a resort being built inside the mangroves. Channels have been blocked and then recently in the past six months dredging has, has come through. People come on our tour, they want to know, well, where's all the wildlife? You got to spend a lot of time in there to really see it. There's a lot of hidden, um, you know, insects and birds and crabs and fish. There's also the red fox, which we found in the mangroves, which recently with the dredging uh, lost about three quarters of its habitat. A lot of the, the fish beds, lagoons are at low tide are completely being drained uh, because of this huge channel that's been dredged through the mangroves, so it dries out the fish beds, which is going to have a huge impact on the fish breeding. Um, so there's a lot of stuff there, yeah, that's you know having having some t hard times at the moment. The mangrove community that is found here within the Emirate of Dhabi, which is now close to 80 square kilo kilometers, is uh, the second largest in the entire Gulf region after Iran. Mangroves provide a number of services. They are feeding in nursery grounds for different type of fish species and other marine species like crabs and uh, other invertebrates. These are the basic elements that feed the productivity of, of the sea. They depend very much on the hydrology, uh, the hydrological regime with interchange of water is very important for the survival of mangroves. And any alteration of that hydrological, hydrological regime uh, affects mangroves. We are now working with the TDIC and the Abu Dhabi Tourism Authority to rehabilitate some of the mangroves in the area. In fact, we are now in the process of planting uh, 500,000 mangroves this is a mangrove ecosystem. It's a unique and it's the most sustainable ecosystem of the UAE. The research shows that, okay, if you are planting one hectare of mangroves, you are increasing like half a ton fish production. And if you are cutting, it's the same way. If you are cutting one hectare of mangroves, you are losing half a ton of fishery resources. Prairie Forest Management has drawn a very comprehensive program for the development, for the restoration, for the conservation of mangrove ecosystem in the UAE. On the one hand, they are very strong, you know, they can withstand higher salinities, they can withstand higher temperature, they can withstand the adverse environment. Their roots are more or less in the water but it is also very delicate. So if you are disturbing the water regimes, then it is very delicate, it's very delicate and it dies back. Mangroves are also very slow growing. So if you are destroying one mangrove, forest rebuilding, forest regrowth, it takes years to come. We try to do a lot of cleanups in the mangroves. We take a lot of school kids and they spend the day cleaning the mangroves or cleaning a beach, cleaning a small island, and we can set up a nice barbecue at the end. It's just a good way to get people out, uh, create a different lifestyle for people. A lot of times people come to Abu Dhabi and say, ah, there's not a lot to do. We try to change that mind frame by saying, look, you know, we can give you a, a great day on the water. That's, that's our main goal, is to educate and then also create uh, a, a healthy alternative lifestyle for people.